In March of 2020, Aaron and I got a call from Andy and Marsha asking if we wanted to push back the wedding until this COVID thing passed over. I know I didn't hesitate in saying I had waited too long already to marry Aaron, and so we were keeping that July 3rd, 2020 date. But now we finally get to celebrate with you all, and we are ecstatic for you all to be here with us, so thank you. It's not every day that all the people you love the most are in a room together to celebrate. So 2018, we got engaged. That means all of you guys have stuck around for three different wedding dates, two date changes, and one online virtual ceremony. That's crazy. Seriously, thank you every single person that's here. So now, 749 days later, thank you so much for being here together, finally celebrating with us in person. For 26 years, I have been lucky enough to navigate life with Aaron as my partner in crime. I have watched as Aaron has grown into the most creative, thoughtful, beautiful, amazing human being in the world. When Aaron came home for fall break, her first semester at Notre Dame, she was in our kitchen and my mom and I saw her light up as she talked about this superhero-like human named Hunter. <laughs> he's so handsome, he's so smart. He's so charming. I couldn't even get a sentence in without her stopping gushing about her new love interest. Hunter, you are without a doubt one of the most thoughtful people I know. The time and effort you put into others is remarkable and greatly appreciated. You will be a great husband, and I look forward to the stories you and Aaron will share. Aaron, you are a burst of energy, and your love for others is admirable. Through your eyes, everyone is awesome and amazing. You seem to always find the best in people and help them shine. You will be a great wife, and I cannot wait to see what's next for you and Hunter. Aaron, I love you. I love your blue eyes. I love your smile. I love how you'll selflessly give of yourself to any person in need and are always willing to learn new skills and have an open mind to new thoughts. You are my best friend. You are my person. I can't remember my life without you. I feel so overwhelmingly lucky and proud to be standing with you today. You aren't a good man. You're an exceptional man. That was the one line I had through this whole thing written for years. It's so true though. You're truly the greatest person I know in so many ways. Your work ethic, your heart, your humility, your patience. Your love for me is confident and consistent. You make me feel accepted and that you are full, fully present for me. I promise to love you, to cherish you, so to hold you cute. in the highest regard as we journey through life together, not only during our highs, but during our lows. Family means so much to both of us. I vow to keep you and our family at the center of our life together. Today, I choose you as my husband. I accept and love you as you are. I know you love me the same in return. I vow to love every little thing about you and to value our time as love because you're simply the best. I will care for you, stand beside you, laugh with you, and share all of life's adversities and joys from this day forward and all of the days of our lives. Love you. I make this eternal commitment to you in love, kept in faith. I promise to be your equal, loving partner for all the days of our lives. I love you, Aaron.
Though initially I felt a little sadness to lose my number one spot as Erin made room for another soulmate in her life. I cannot think of anyone better suited for Erin, and I have only seen it tenfold over the past two years. Hunter invokes such a sense of calm and order in the beautiful, creative mess of Erin, and Erin brings out the most charismatic Hunter I've ever seen. Hunter, you're an accomplished man, but of your accomplishments, none are greater than what we're here celebrating tonight. Your marriage to the lovely Erin Rice. I met Erin when Hunter and her first started dating at Notre Dame. And it's weird to think that we met through him because she's not just Hunter's girlfriend turned fiance turned wife. She's one of my closest friends. She's energetic, charismatic, smart, and kind. Erin is always inviting and will always include you on whatever you want to do. Hunter, first of all, thank you so much for loving and protecting my best friend the past 10 years, as I have grown to love you too. You are one lucky guy, I mean, look at her tonight. <laughs> but it is with absolute great pride and joy that I pass the torch again to you today, as I did two years ago. Aaron, I'm so happy that you married Hunter. You two have made such an incredible couple. Both of you are smart, successful, and kind-hearted. Together, your compassion and love truly shine. Good afternoon, friends, family, and loved ones. We are gathered here today to celebrate and reaffirm the love these two standing before you share with one another. While Aaron and Hunter may already be married, today is special for the pair as they have the opportunity to renew those vows they made to each other two years ago in front of you all, those family and friends who have been so crucial to this couple on their journey to this point. Aaron, I absolutely love you. Two years later, I still love your beautiful blue eyes, your smile, and your amazing wedding gown. I can't believe we're getting two uses out of this gown. <laughs> and I've loved each of them. Now I vow to continue to keep you and our family in the center of our lives and to always be with you no matter the challenge. Two years ago, I vowed to try to love dogs as much as you do. I've loved raising Wrigley together, but know you and her have quite a special bond, and I love to see that. I promise to remember that we are both human and growing. I promise to do the work that it takes to be the best version of myself for you and for us. I promise to work together as equals, as a team, to build a life far better than each of us could imagine alone. I promise to dedicate myself to you and our future family the way our parents have done for us. I promise to never give up on us and to always be there through anything that comes our way. I promise to keep our life exciting and to travel beside you through all of our life's adventures. Hunter, 
Today, you have renewed your promises and vows that you made to each other on your wedding day, now in front of a group of family, friends, and loved ones. Today, we charge you to both continue strengthening the fabric of your relationship so that we may all look forward to epic, not surprise parties to come for the 20th, 30th, and so on anniversaries. I now formally ask you to celebrate this day with a kiss. It is my honor to present to you once more the happily married Mr. and Mrs. Hunter and Aaron Smith. These days, they fill with color, they're sewn together, and now they're holding us. This place, like a painted vision, and now our intuition. Gives us hope of what's to come We are running free Mom and I are proud of all your many accomplishments and perhaps the most important one was marrying Hunter. And to see the man that you've become, Mom and I couldn't ask for a better son. We have often reflected on the day you were born, your wonderful childhood, and seeing you grow into the beautiful, confident, caring, and thoughtful woman that you have become. As we watched you marry a great man today, we were filled with pride as you and Hunter are about to embark on life's wonderful journey. I now ask that everyone raise their glass and join in congratulating Aaron and Hunter and wishing them many years of joy and happiness. Today I choose you as my husband again. I accept and love you as you are, and I know you love me the same in return. I promise to love you now and forever unconditionally and without hesitation, to respect you and try to cherish every moment with you. In the past two years, I've learned so much from you, and we've grown further in our relationship. I can still say that you are undoubtedly my best friend, my person, and the only one I want to spend the rest of my life with. I vow to love every little thing about you and to value our time as love because you're simply the best. I love you, Aaron.